Hello, and welcome to our Patent AEDY pop-up practices series. My name is Bethany Seidella, and I am a member of the AEDY team. We know that engaging our students helps to minimize behavior problems and can increase student achievement. Today, we will look at some active engagement strategies to reach our learners. Why should we actively engage students? Well, engagement allows teachers to see the learning. It actively involves all students by giving them opportunities to respond. What are more benefits of active engagement? Student engagement increases on-task behavior and learning. It decreases problem behaviors. It is a means of formative assessment, which means that it provides information to the teacher on the student's understanding of the content. And it makes learning visible to the teacher and other students. We do not have to wait for a test or a quiz to determine if a student needs repetition or reteaching. There are various ways to elicit student responses, written, action, verbal, and a combination of all. Written responses can include whiteboards, sentence frames, graphic organizers, written exit tickets, and Think Inc. Pair Share. So for example, ask a question and tell students to take one minute to write their thoughts. Set a timer, then have students share out to the class or with a partner. For quick questions that require a short one or two word answer, Set a 5 to 10 second timer and have students hold up the response when the teacher gives the signal. This gives the teacher an opportunity to check for understanding and make adjustments or reteach if needed. Or have an area in the room for students to write their thoughts. Action responses get your students moving and involved in the learning. This could include gestures such as using thumbs up, thumbs down to check for understanding, or clap once for yes twice for no, for yes-no answers. Students could also act something out, scenarios such as a moment in history or literature, or even just getting up to complete a step in a multi-step math problem. Fist to five is another strategy to get kids actively involved and get a gauge on their level of understanding. Students show a fist and one is I need help and a five is I can help others. Other ideas are having students stand up or sit down for true-false, or having them move to different sections of the room based on their opinions and interests. Verbal responses are, of course, the most traditional, but find some ways to incorporate a variety of response types. This could include choral responses, where the teacher gives a signal, then the entire class responds or a close reading strategy where the teacher pauses while reading aloud and the class reads the next word. Choral responses on a signal, songs, and poems are also ways to utilize repetition to get students engaged and retain content. Move away from raising hands to overt responses. Use raising hands for things like getting teachers' attention for other non-academic requests. The important thing to remember is that you want to plan for engagement to prevent problem behavior, especially during difficult times of day. Be proactive and plan for extra engagement during historically difficult times. Use data to decrease problem behaviors. Research affirms if students are actively engaged in instruction, then it is difficult to engage in disruptive behaviors. Utilizing and planning for written, active, and verbal responses is essential, but motivating the students to learn inside and outside of the classroom is just as important. You want to make the content relevant to the students. Provide them with real-life examples and connect to current events or pop culture. For example, if students are exploring career paths, have them interview a family, friend, or community member who works in that field. Or, if you are studying government or civics, consider having students reach out to a local elected official with their viewpoints. Let their voices be heard. 
Remember also that just like adults, students want to socialize, so building teacher-student and student-student relationships is key. Let the students discuss questions with the partner and then present to the class or a small group. Not only are they learning, but they are sharpening their presentation skills. They should interact with others to discuss their thoughts and learning. Try providing visuals, acronyms, songs, a multi-sensory approach to learning. Build a trusting relationship with students and model lifelong learning by engaging them in discussions, listening to their opinions, and showing respect for their experiences. Students will need to take risks in order to learn, so we want to create an environment where everyone is valued. Thank you for joining us today for Pop-Up Practices, where practice makes progress.